Welcome everyone to Race Face TV in this edition of Race Face Spotlight. Today we're going to go out to Madera, California, where we're going to find young race car driver Joey East. Joey, how's it doing tonight? Good. What about you? I'm doing great, man. So let's talk a little bit about your 2018 season. So you did some Western Speed 2 Midgets, and you also did some Junior Late Models. So for the viewers that may not know what a Speed 2 Midget is, can you tell us a little bit about that car? Yeah, it's a full-size Focus Midget with a Ford Focus engine that runs about 180 horsepower. And you can start at the restricted at the age of 10 and unrestricted at 12 years old and then all the way up. You can be in. All right, so you, you had a pretty good season this year. So let's kind of walk us through a little bit where you finished the season at and if you're going to be back in that Focus Midget next year. Yeah, I'll be back in the Focus Midget this year, running the Dirt Series and Pavement Series. So the Dirt on the Pavement. So how did you finish last year in the standings? Last year I finished third in the Dirt Series, second in the Pavement, and then second in the Overall Series. Hey, that's a pretty good season, right? Were you happy with yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun and great season. So you, you ran a lot against your teammate, Adam Limke. Yeah, it's great competing with him, and he's taught me a lot in racing. And well, that's good because he, he's not going to be back next year, so we'll be focusing on a, on a championship. So uh, we're going to be running – you're going to run the dirt, going to be running the pavement, and uh, are you going to go for the overall championship next year? Yeah, I think we'll be competing for the Triple Crown. Hopefully. The Triple Crown, okay. that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so also last year you ran in the Junior Late Model Series. Now, that series is probably, well, it is the top Junior Late Model Series in the country. Um, all the exposure that you guys get on MAV-TV, I know that, uh, that round nine is coming up here in a couple of weeks, I think, so I'm really excited to be able to watch that race. So tell us what it was like being in the junior midget and and let's let's start off with the great team that you race for and that's Nate Clower Motorsports. Yeah, I'm very thankful to race for them and they've taught me a lot and they're really great coaches and teaching me and they always have the top notch cars with really competitive cars and can go win wherever they go. That's right. So there's a lot of wins there. Mike has probably got the best late model, junior late model program in the country. And you're very fortunate to be able to, to run there at Madera Speedway. Kenny Shepard's done an amazing job kind of setting that up and, and getting MAV-TV uh, really involved with that. So, um, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure that you do appreciate it, but a lot of late model drivers would kind of give their right arm to be in that situation that you're there because you know, the Naclair Motorsports team, I've told people all along that they run that program just like a cup team. I mean, they got the haulers there. You got great crew people. Um, give a little shout out to who was your crew chief last year? Uh, yeah, Mike Nake was my crew chief, and he always had a really fast car, and they always unloaded great cars every weekend. Every week they show up with good cars. So you're going to be back in that seat for the 2019 season. Are you excited about that? Yeah, I'm really excited to be running that series again and running with Mike Nake and everyone else there. So I told Mike, I talked to Mike today a little bit about you, and he said that, you know, he goes, we're going to take Joey and we're going to go after that championship next year. So how does that make you feel? Yeah, it's really exciting and it's a really competitive group and can't wait to be running the full season with them. Yeah, and he's talking about a little bit about maybe some pro late model races, maybe a couple, two or three of those at the end of the year. Oh uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of the year we'll be ready and be competitive with them and be able to run with them. Well, that's I mean that's a, that that's a big step for you. There's a lot of top competition out there, and um, I think that's going to be uh, I think 2019 is going to be a breakout season for Joey East. So Joey, kind of give us some, uh, a little bit about you personally. Tell us some of the things that you like to do when you're actually not racing. Yeah, when I'm not racing, I, I live on a farm, so I like working on that and then just doing anything outdoors, riding quads and just hunting and anything outside. 
Yeah, now a lot of people say, yeah, I like farming and everything, but you guys have a little bit more than just a little farm. So how many acres do you guys actually farm out there? Um, I, there's a lot, huh? It's a lot, okay. <laughs> All right, so um, Bandolero Racing, again, trying to wrap that championship up this weekend there at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway on the road course. So what's that been like this year? Yeah, I, it's a lot of fun for driving the road course, something I've never really done much of. And it's a really good opportunity. And those cars teach me a lot of momentum and just being smooth and stuff. So smooth and momentum, I think that's the key to being successful in the Bandolero car. So you got two more races left. Right now you're what, a 10 point lead in the championship? Uh, yeah, about a 10 point lead and then two races left. So it should two be races a good left. Race. Okay, so yeah. and I think the rules are there. You get a get rid of your la your worst race. So I think if I was looking at your points today, I don't think you've really had a bad race there all year, have you? Uh, yeah, I think the worst finish in my group was third or fourth this year so far. Yeah, I started to say they were pointing them out, and I saw a, a race where you only scored ninety six points, but the rest of them were, you know, ninety eight or above. So. I think you got a good chance going in there to the last two races. So uh, good luck to you. And uh, thank you. I, I, I'm not sure that you'll really understand how much you're learning in that bandolero until you get in a full bodied race car and actually get out on a road course. Because I think what's going to transfer there, I mean, road course racing is all about momentum. So I think it's a good learning thing. So if you're a young racer out there and you're watching this show tonight, um, think about bandoleros and even if you don't run a full season i think it's worth getting in those cars and getting on a road course do you think that's going to be beneficial in your career down the road yeah i think it'll teach me a lot through like any car you drive they give you a they teach a lot and a lot of momentum so that's the key to that so we've got bandoleros you've raced you've raced the dirt focus midgets you've raced on the pavement focus midgets you've raced junior late models um, is anything else that you ran this year outside of those cars? Um, this last weekend, I got the opportunity to drive the Legends, and it was my first race, and it was a lot of fun competing with them. So talk the a little course. bit about what's the difference between, you know, driving a, a Bandolero and then stepping into that Legend car? Uh, yeah, the Legends are they're a lot faster and a lot more horsepower, and we also got to race the Legends in the rain, so it taught me a lot of car control and just like handling the car good. Yeah, that's some good experience running in the rain out there. What was that like? Yeah, it was really crazy. It was uh, <laughs> nothing I've ever done before like that. So it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Joey the person. And, you know, you kind of come off as a little shy, but I know some people that are pretty close to you that says you're quite the little prankster. So I heard a little <laughs> bit about a, a little trip that you guys did in the airplane where uh, <clears throat> I guess uh, Mr. Limke's dad was, was getting uh, uh, some stuff out of the uh, vending machine and you kind of walked by him real kind of shy and said, make a good selection, it might be your last meal. <laughs> Did you actually do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> and your dad is, is, is like the pilot or the co-pilot in that plane when you guys fly around? Oh uh, yeah, my dad has his airplane license and he's the pilot. All right, so the question is, will he, I know he lets you get behind the seat of the race cars and on those tractors and stuff. Has he invited you up front and let you get behind the the uh, the steering wheel of that airplane yet? Um, usually there's a co-pilot with them, someone that helps them out. So there's, you, I, there's usually no seats open in the front. So are you ready though for that next step? Are you ready to learn how to fly that plane? Yeah, uh, someday. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of, lot of preparation that's going on, uh, getting ready for that 2019 season. And I know that, you know, you and your parents and your whole family have really got behind you. That's really important in motorsports. Um, been able to spend some time with your mom and dad. They're just fantastic people. And I understand that you got delivered a brand new simulator here in the last couple of days. Yeah, I just got a simulator. It just came in today, the last piece, and 
should be setting it up maybe tonight and tomorrow and be practicing that on this off season. So what kind of uh, racing are you going to do in the simulator? Are you going to concentrate on late models or what, what's your thought process um, there? Probably the late models and anything open wheel just to get me ready in between the going from one weekend to the other and the different cars is a lot different. So just getting me ready. And I know that you've taken a couple trips out to Indiana and you went over to Racecraft One and worked a little bit with Kelly Jones. And are you looking forward to maybe doing some more of that? Yeah, uh, that was a lot of fun. That was my first time driving a racing simulator and it was instantly a lot of fun and I liked it a lot. And yeah. Well, the good news about the simulator is, is there's no crash clause. So if you go out and you spin out and you put it in the wall or you crash or something like that, you don't, it's not like you're having to pay for it. You just hit the reset button and start over again. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, if we could probably see your dad, he'd have the biggest smile on his face right now because I think anytime you can avoid the crash clause, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, Joey, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to before we wrap the show up tonight and any of your sponsors that you want to give a call out to? Yeah, I want to thank Cal Ag Solutions, Power to Grow, Richwood Meat, HSI, and Priscilla Farms for their continued support and all my fans for everything they do for me. All right, so you can check Joey out at his, his website. That's joeyeastracing.com. And you can also check out Joey on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Do you have any other social media sites that you that I'm forgetting? Um, no, that's it. That's it. All right. Well, Joey, we want to thank you for being with us tonight. Good luck with the rest of the season. We're going to have you back on the show about three other times. You can always catch Joey on our weekly race face driver updates, which will be starting actually next week. We'll be back in the groove there. We have enough drivers that are racing. So Keep up to speed with him. You can catch Joey on Race Face Driver Updates at raceface.tv, or you can catch him on our Race Face TV Facebook page. So, Joey, again, thanks for being with us. Good luck next season. Stay safe, and we'll be talking to you real soon. Thank you. See you soon. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Make sure to check us every single week for more Race Face Spotlights. And as always, we encourage you to go out and support local racing in your communities, and we'll see you back here real soon.